In the last few tutorials, I showed you how to install and customize the CloudBase 3 template for your Joomla 3 site, and it's time to start creating our own content for this site. The only content we have on the site so far is the Getting Started article on our homepage. This is part of the sample data set that came with the site when we first launched it. In the next tutorial, we'll spend a lot of time on content. We'll create categories and articles, and we'll look at the Media Manager for the Joomla site. For now though, let's click on the Getting Started article in the Popular Articles module in the back end of the site. This is listed here because it's the only article we have in the site so far, and this is what the content looks like in the back end. But I opened this up because I wanted you to take a look at the editor. This is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get, and you don't get very much at all. Before we create our own content, I want to show you how to install a new editor in the site to enhance functionality to give you more options when formatting your text. We'll go ahead and close that article, and remember, if we want to return to the Control Panel, we'll go to System and Control Panel. To install an extension, just like we did with a template in an earlier tutorial, go to Extensions and select Extension Manager, or select Install Extensions from your side toolbar. Remember, we were here during Tutorial 3 of this series when we installed our template, and you may have noticed the blue box, which asks you to agree to the Joomla Extensions Directory Terms of Service to add the Install from Web tab directly in the back end of your Joomla site. This feature was added in a previous version of Joomla, and it did enable you to browse for and install an extension directly in the back end of the site, but unfortunately, it's under construction and currently not working. The Joomla community is working on improving that, though. For now, we want to install an extension manually, so what we're going to do is go to the Joomla Extensions directory. You can go here by visiting extensions.joomla.org. There are many great core Joomla features, but there are also thousands of extensions in this extensions directory that can help you enhance functionality of your Joomla site where core functionality leaves off. To browse for an extension, you can use the Find the Extension You're Looking For tool to browse for keywords, tags, or to browse by category, or you can scroll down just a little bit more and browse through all the categories available. We're looking for an editor, so we'll find the editing category and select it. There are many editors available for your Joomla site, but one of the first editors that pulls up is one of the most popular extensions for Joomla, and that's the JCE, the Joomla Content Editor. It is an award-winning component that's been around for a while and trusted by many Joomla users. If we open up this listing, we'll notice a few things. Let's go ahead and scroll down, and we'll see that the JCE editor includes a component and a plugin, which is indicated by the C and the P. There are different types of extensions, components, plugins, modules, and add-ons, and we'll talk about that as we progress through this tutorial series. There are also great ratings for this extension, and to get the extension, we'll click on the download button and be directed to joomlacontenteditor.net. This is the developer's site, and to get the editor, we'll click on the editor option here, and we'll have to make sure that we download the version that's compatible with our version of Joomla, which is Joomla 3. There are also a couple packages to pick from, and we want to select the most recent package or the most recent stable package. We're going to go ahead with 2.4.6, which is a stable release, and that is a zip file. We'll put that in our Downloads folder and select Save. Remember, to install an extension manually, it has to come in the form of a zip file. We'll return to the back end of our site, and just like we did with our template, we'll click on Choose File, We'll go to our Downloads folder and select the JCE Editor zip file that we just downloaded. Once that name appears in the field, we'll click on Upload and Install. Every extension will take just a moment to install into the Joomla site, and once this JCE component has been installed, we'll receive this message letting us know it's ready to go. There's one more step to be completed before we can use the editor which is done in Global Configuration, or we can go to our Control Panel and select Global Configuration from our side toolbar. 
Global configuration is the area where you'll manage a lot of the global settings for your site, systems, and server, and your permissions and text filters. We're looking for the default editor site setting though, and you can see if I use this drop down menu that Joomla recognizes the JCE which we just installed. We'll select it and click on save and close. Remember the JCE is a component and once you install any component it will appear in this components drop down menu at the top of your administration area. You can adjust JCE settings here. We don't want to do that though. We want to go back to the getting started article. We'll open it up and we can look at the JCE editor and all its functionality. We just installed this and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to start creating content and apply text formatting through the JCE.